Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan, and today's video is another episode of our little e commerce mini series here for the channel. And for today's topic, we're primarily going to be focusing on gift cards. Let's go ahead and get started. So, here we are on our little e commerce website. And in order to set up these gift cards, what we're going to want to do is be in our dashboard and come on over to gift cards. Once we click that, we'll land on a page that looks like this and we'll go ahead and press add gift card to site. Once it finished loading, we'll land on a page that says gift card overview. Right here, we'll be able to see the gift card. If we want to edit the gift card, we can just go ahead and press edit gift card. We can press view an editor and we can even select the amount. So let's go ahead and press edit gift card really quick. You can change the name of the gift card, the description. Underneath here, we can say give set amounts for them to choose from. And we can even toggle on to let customers enter their own custom amount if they want to. Maybe we can set a minimum of 25 and then a maximum of like 500. Or you can just leave this one blank if you don't want there to be a maximum amount. Below that, we can set an expiration date for these gift cards. Um, typically with gift cards, you really don't want them to expire. But for, if for some reason, if they're like little kind of tokens that you're giving out at events or something, then you might want to offer some sort of expiration date on these little gift cards. So you can say like one month, these coupons expire. So you can do something similar to that if you want to, but if people are gonna be spending their money to get these gift cards, then you're probably gonna want to set it to never expire. For under amounts, we can even come over to advanced images and prices. So we can even set an image for each type of gift card. So if you want to have a set design for the $25 gift card, you can do that. And you can do that for each one of the following gift card prices that you have set up. I think that is actually pretty cool. And last but not least that we'll kind of cover on this page is you can edit the image of the gift card. So you can change the image, kind of design your own in like Photoshop or have someone else create it for you and go ahead and change the image here as well. I think that would look a lot cleaner. But once we're done, we can go ahead and press save. And just for fun, let's go ahead and press view in editor. And once we're in the editor, what we're gonna notice first is we now have a new page called gift card. On this page, people can come to buy a gift card for whoever they're gonna give it to. So when you update the image, it'll show here. And when users select 25, 50, 100, or whatever, that image right here should change. And then right here, you can see that you can set the quantity if they plan to buy multiple. Is this gift for someone else or for myself? You can send the recipient an email for the gift cards. You can add their name. You can set a delivery date. So if it's their birthday coming up like on Saturday and you don't want this to be sent earlier than Saturday, you can set, have this email be sent to them on Saturday instead of today. And then you can even add a little personalized message to them as well, which I think is really cool. Under settings, we can come over to settings. We can say delivery date, so we can turn this on and off if we want to. Obviously, I think that's a really cool feature that should be left on. And then recipient options, you can say for someone else, themselves, or both. Um, I would leave it as both, but I do kind of find it weird if you're buying like a gift card for yourself. Um, like at that, at that point, why aren't you just like buying the items, I guess? So if you want to, you could just turn this to someone else. That way it just gets rid of that option completely. But as usual, I do like having options. So I want our users to have these options as well. So we'll leave this as both. Under text, we can change what the text shows here on the website. And then under design, we can change the background and borders, gift card details, and for the buttons, just like with most things on our website, we might want to have like a corner radius of 12, because I think that's what we've been using for most elements here on the website. We're gonna want the buttons to have a slightly rounded edge. I would like to actually apply that to the inputs as well. So I wonder if that's gonna be in this setting somewhere. Okay, I don't really see it, which I wish we could do that here, but it doesn't look like we have much of an option, but that's perfectly okay. I do think that this looks pretty clean as is, but for people to get to this page, you're either gonna to want to include this like in the footer, maybe somewhere on the home page, or maybe even at the bottom of your categories page as well. Um, I think that's gonna be the best places to maybe put a link to this specific page. And the last thing that I'll kind of mention 
is what we're gonna want to do is actually come over to settings, go to e-commerce settings, go down to gift cards and make sure that this is turned on. And I wanna note that in order for your recipients to actually redeem the gift cards, you will see that on the payment page and you'll see an option to redeem a gift card. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.